Hey, meteorologist Allison Miller here in the KITV Storm Tracker Weather Center trying to map out the crazy weather that we're expecting here across Central Texas. Okay, so I'm starting with the graphic that I posted on my Facebook page yesterday. It's the same scenario that we're talking about. We're watching this cold front move, move in, a lot of moisture coming in from the Gulf, and then we're also getting uh, quite a bit of moisture that will be coming in from what now is Hurricane Patricia. So all those elements are coming together to really bring us the potential for quite a lot of rain. So you may think that a lot of us are blowing it out of proportion, but we do really have the potential for a lot of that. Here is the track of Hurricane Patricia. It is expected to make its way into Central Texas. Ahead of that, we're getting a lot of moisture moved through. And this storm, by the way, strongest hurricane ever recorded on record. It's a Cat 5. Winds at 200 miles an hour. This is the update as of Friday morning. It is still expected to make landfall uh, along the Mexican coastline. And then it will uh, weaken quite a bit, but we're still going to get that moisture incoming for this weekend's rain. So that's why we do have the potential for quite a bit. You can see a little less in parts of the hill country with most of it as it system tracks further to the south and east, six to 10 inches from Austin out. So that's a lot of rain to be talking about. Now, here's the setup. As we go through, we'll see spotty showers today. It looks like most of the rain will begin to increase overnight into early Saturday morning. Some heavy spots likely. It would be great if we could just get some good old heavy steady rain, but we do have the potential, we do live in Flash Flood Alley, to see some isolated pockets. So not everyone's going to get bad flooding, but it could hit anywhere across Central Texas, and that's why we're so concerned about this system. It does appear, at least from this latest model run, that it'll clear up. So Sunday, we may even get some drier conditions, so that would be great. So it looks like the worst of it, again, will be Friday going in to Saturday. And that's your weekend weather update. If you have any questions, you can find me on Facebook. I'll uh, keep you updated throughout the weekend. Also, Jordan Steele, Chicago Windler, and Colin Myers with the KI TV Storm Tracker crew will be covering the storms as we head into this upcoming weekend. So stay safe. Post pictures so we can share them and see what's going on uh, where you live or if you're out and about and you see the storms. Just make sure you're staying safe out there. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend.